The owner of this 2010 Toyota RAV4 has a complaint about the front end noise. We took this vehicle out on a test drive to find out that it was the front, left front wheel bearing assembly. To perform this job, we need several tools, a breaker bar, an impact gun, a 30 millimeter socket, 20 millimeter socket, 22 millimeters, 17 millimeters, 14 millimeters, and a 10 millimeter. We also need a small punch. We're gonna proceed by taking, jacking the vehicle up, taking the wheel off, and then the caliper and rotor. We will now remove the axle nut. First, we have to, there's a locking tab right, right here. We have to tap the punch underneath that to lift it out of this groove. Now that I have lifted this little locking tab up by driving this punch underneath it, I will now remove the axle nut with the 30 millimeter socket. Once that is done, I will turn the wheel all the way to the left to remove the caliper assembly. With the 17 millimeter socket, I will now remove the two retaining screws for the brake caliper. Okay, and before I re remove the caliper, I will now use the 14 millimeter socket to take off the brake the um, the bracket that secure the brake line to the spindle assembly take off the two screws and then remove the caliper. And setting it out of the way, I'm gonna rest it right on top of the the arm back here for, to keep it from dangling. Remove the brake rotor. You will more, li more than likely have a problem just pulling that rotor off. So there's just several ways you can do this. You can find the correct um, screw and turn it in through this hole, one on each side. As you drive it in, it will break that caliper free. But make sure you spray some lubricant around um, that hole to loosen it up. Another way is to take a hammer and bang the rotor on this surface, never here. Never on the brake surface, right on this surface. But to be on safe, take two of the nuts 
the lug nuts and put them on the studs before you begin to hammer. Put them on the studs in the area that you'll be hammering so you don't miss and damage the thread. Now, with your caliper resting on the tie rod, we will now loosen the nut that holds the strut to the spindle assembly. Always loosen and tighten on the nut side, not the bolt side. And also, the brake sensor with a 10 millimeter, we want to take that off. There's one nut that holds this in place. Just wiggle it out of position and stick it out of the way. Place the axle nut back on the axle. Make sure you turn it on about three or four thre rough threads and then gently tap it in. You have to do that because sometimes the actual will be stuck in a hub and you won't you won't be able to get it out unless you tap it in. Now we're gonna re remove these two bolts. Okay, with the wheel sensor back in place and about to be tightened up, we will move on to driving the axle nut home. Okay, put the rotor back on. And then the caliper, and we are good to go. Oh, don't forget to lock the axle nut in place by using the same punch and a hammer and drive this little tab back down into the groove. Using a chisel, we're gonna drive the edge of this axle nut. This little collar right here is used as a locking tab. Drive that down into this groove to lock the nut. Okay, with the cal caliper on, in order to make it, to help get that caliper on more easily, I use uh, one of the lug nuts to hold the rotor in place. And then I'll put the caliper on, the two screws, tighten them down, and secure the brake, the brake line with its 14 millimeter screw. Put the wheel on, and we are good to go.